Before this video begins, I quickly want to say that the map 2 on my Incadia is only days away. And that's also why I'm making this video. You can find all information about the new map down in the description. And make sure when you log on for your very first time to do slash redeem and then Dexter113. That would give you some free gold that you can use in the gold shop. But alright, let's go ahead and start this video. How's it going guys and welcome back for- yes that's right, I'm not on my main account. I'm currently on an all because today's video is going to be somewhat different, mainly because and I can just give you guys the link if you have any questions about anything in this video, so I can just tell you, go watch the video, alright? So Dexter, what are we gonna be doing today? So today I'm gonna show you guys how you can get the best start possible here on Minecadia. If you wanna go ahead and try the server out, now there is finally a video about where you can get all the cannons, all the base games and everything you could possibly need to get started. So without further ado, make sure you smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and let's stick right into it. But Dexter, how did he get 10 million? Well, I'm cheating a little bit, alright? I don't want this video to be hours long. But anyways, the first thing you want to do when you join on Minecadia is you need to get money, alright? And the best way to do that is going right over to this hole. I don't know if the spawn is going to change snake map. But anyways, you're going to have to find something about this where it says Envoy, Heroic Envoys. That is how you make money, guys. That's literally how you make absolutely anything. The first few hours you're going to be playing is going to be Envoys and the Auction House. The Auction House is absolutely insane. Now you can see this perk fly right here for 1 million. I'm buying that right now because we're going to need that, alright? But yeah, get money, get your perk fly, do slash wild, and you're good to go. Now you can choose to make your base either in the overworld where everything isn't exactly flat, but you can also go ahead and do slash warp and you can find yourself the desert biome or the desert warp or something along those lines where everything is going to be completely flat. Now that does make everything a little bit easier, but actually now that we talk about it, let's go ahead and build in the desert instead. But Dexter, what are you going to do when you have the world portal? Well obviously we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can find a spot for our brand new base. You can find all the schematics that I'm going to be using in this video down in the description. Well, hello, hello. Who is that? Alright, I found a beautiful spot with no claims. Next step is claiming all this area right here. So if you do F map, you can see there's a few right there. So let's go ahead and just claim the entire thing. And again, you can find everything in the schematic. And again, guys, if you didn't hear the first time, you can find all the schematics down in the description. But alright, anyways, let's go ahead and just line this up with the world border. That should be easy enough. And all you need to do now is just claim where the schematic is. And obviously, if you are unlucky and don't get a corner, what you should have been on at SOTW, shouldn't you? No, just go ahead and rotate the scam so you can get this right here on the other side. One thing that might help with that is actually marking out what the base is going to be. Just to make sure the base is in the right spot. And then you can rotate, line it up with the base again, and claim that area over there. But anyways, let's going to get this claimed and get going. Alright guys, I got most of it claimed right now. And all we need to do is just rotate the scam to the other side. As you can see, I did mark out what the base is. So, well, I don't fuck up. <laughs> Imagine clicking 2,000 times to move a scam. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Alright guys, now that we got the claims. And for anyone wondering, we're using about 250 claims, which means you're going to need two other accounts in your faction. But alright guys, next up is taking a look at the base. So if you've been down in the description, you should have downloaded this base right here. I tried to make this base as simple as possible, as well as making it as strong as possible. So this right here is what we're going to be building, as you can see. There's not a lot to do, but again, this is very, very strong, so you shouldn't worry about anything whatsoever. The perfect starter base right here. Now obviously, since we don't really have a lot of walls. I think what we're gonna do is go into printer mode and actually go ahead and print in this obsidian and then go underneath and just kind of gen it in because hashtag lazy. Yeah, everything you see has to be printed in. So let's go ahead and print in one entire side of this base and I'll give you guys a tour around everything. All right, everything is now gen in. But Dexter, that didn't take a long time. No, because this base is absolutely the best possible base, beginner friendly and everything. All right, so we have normal walls right here. This right here is a lava curtain, so you can backstack this right here. Here. This right here is region filters. This right here is region filters. This over here is region filters. This over here is region filters. And the only way to get through this is backstacking. So, yeah, good luck. Also, if you really want to piss people off, make slaps at the bottom. That's going to ruin everyone's day. Next to this, we're going to have a lava curtain again, so you can backstack it or front stack it. So, so you destroy the pillar. This right here is a hard fall regions, which you can only break by opening up three wide. That's why that we over here have an anti 255. That way they can't shoot a 255 and they have to go through at a lower Y. So, because we have this hard form right here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wee woo. Let's go ahead and get this fixed. Don't worry, nobody saw anything. Next to the hard 
Golden Regions, we're going to have these pillars right here, a sand check wall, which is a total of three check walls. In case that you guys fuck up one sand wall, maybe two sand walls, but you can't fuck up three sand walls. Statistics says you can't fuck up that many times and still play factions. And all the way down here, we have a simple mindset to stop anyone that doesn't know what they are doing. But Dexter, it's nice to show us all this. We have no clue what you're talking about. Well, let me go and show you guys how you actually build these and how you fill it and everything. If you do slash gen down in the chat, you get a gen bucket if you right click it or left click it, sorry. Go ahead and choose the vertical directional obsidian gen bucket right here. And we're gonna go ahead and gen down all of this right here. So this right here is going to be our mind chat. So let's go ahead and quickly gen this down. Basically, what you need to do is just go ahead and place gen buckets underneath every single obsidian. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, once everything is gen down, do slash region bucket. That will give you one of these bad boys right here. It's cost 10,000 each placement. But next to, why do we wanna pay that? Well, that's because this gen bucket right here is no ordinary gen bucket, all right? It makes obsidian, or sorry, lava sources all the way down. All right, so please pay attention right here. So we are going to be using the back ones right here. So what this right here is where the base is. So we're gonna use this bucket here at the back. Do not do it in the front right there. Those have to be manually filled with lava. What you can do if you want to be really annoying and do have the money is actually fill those as well. And since I do have 8.6 million that you guys probably don't have, I'm going to go and use a region bucket to fill it. But normally, you would just fill this with a normal lava bucket and just kind of let it go down. All right, and once we are done with that, you can go ahead and break the ice. But next thing, you can't break ice like that. It's just going to disappear. Well, on here, you can actually do that. So do not worry about a thing. Just go ahead and break the ice and you should be good. Once you've done that, that will be the very first region done. Next up, let's go ahead and gen in all of this right here. This is obviously gonna be your sand check walls. You can do this by gen bucketing as well. Just do slash gen and pick the sand and here we go. Alright, once you're done with all the sand, let's go ahead and go underneath the base as we pretty much printed this in. We're gonna need to place gen buckets on all of these right here all the way down, but let's go ahead and skip that because, well, that, that's fucking boring. Alright, and just like that, we are now done with all the genning. It's just getting genning down there. But we can leave it though. We don't need to supervise that shit. Alright, next up, though is using a 255 or anti-255. All you literally have to do for this defense right here is go into printer mode and break this ice. And all you have to do after that is just place a little bit of lab and boom, 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 you're pretty much done. Let's go to break the ice though. Alright, next step is go ahead and go out of printer gold, do the command slash INF, pick the lava, and all you have to do now is, uh, yeah, pretty much just spam lava like this right here and this little thing right there. Now, what this is gonna do, hopefully making an anti-255, meaning if you're break this obsidian, it's just gonna do some weird wiggling and, and gen back. Alright, once we have the lava done and the water done, we need to go ahead and break this network right here, but before you do that, you need to make sure that the water has actually traveled into this little pocket right here, and it looks like it actually has. So let's go ahead and quickly break this right here and get to the next thing we need to do on the list. Next thing on the list is this bad boy right here, and as you can see, I already planned everything out with ice and everything. I'm pretty sure I thought of absolutely everything. We need to go ahead and do slash region bucket down in this chat so you can get one of these bad boys right here. Do you remember that from last time? 10,000 each placement. All right, so here's what we are looking for, all right? So we want to go ahead and fill, actually, that's the lie. So you want to go ahead and fill this one and then you want to skip one. Actually, before you do that, we should probably have to, never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we gen now or gen later. We want to go ahead and do this like that. And then you want to jump over to the next. So as you can see, we do like three, jump one block, three, jump one block, three again, three, jump three, and so on and so on. So that should be pretty simple, right? Once you're done with that, all you need to do now is pretty much just break the ice. And you can actually do that in printer as well. So you could join and just go crazy like this. One thing I should probably say, and I, I kind of fucked up right here. Because you, what you actually need to do... Oh god, I did fuck up. We will. Let me go ahead and redo that real quick. Alright, so as you can see, there is this network right here. It's quite important that you place an ice there. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't know why I didn't do that on the scam. But, but I mean, now you know what to do. So go ahead and place an ice right there in this network right there. So it goes all the way through like into this one but yeah i only fucked up on one side this right here is is is, is, is good right yeah is it good yeah it's good all right let's go ahead and just break all the ice now and then this region right here should be done as well oh boy does that look great now obviously you might want to go ahead and wait until all of this right here is gen down normally i would do the same as i did over here and use a gen bucket all the way down but kind of forgot that so it doesn't really matter though a cobble obsidian doesn't matter Next one is actually going to be a lava curtain and all you have to do is just bring some lava and just kind of do it right here. Now make sure that you don't use a region bucket here as that will make quite a difference. So, so just, just do it like this, alright? However, when you do reach the end, don't go all the way out. Stop 
by tier one block before so when the ladder is gonna go ahead and move over to this location it's not actually gonna go right here where there's wilderness obviously you could just go ahead and claim a little bit more if you have more power but i'm only doing it with like these claims right here that's it but all right now that we got this standing down and now that we got a lava cutter next stop is breaking the ice and all of these right here all the way in so let's go ahead and do that right now all right guys next thing is is that you're gonna need a detonate nine pickaxe or something along those lines because the next step is gonna be well a little bit tricky what we need to do now is actually use this right here to break all of this right here and the water will not move if it moves then well I, I fucked up let's gonna mine it boom there you go water doesn't move that's right all right and here we are that right there is the cobble and i actually fucked one up right here so that's a good thing i didn't have to land in place that could have uh, that could have gone bad all right let's go ahead and encase this water right here and try one more time and if we break it now it should slowly and yep there you go perfect all right next step though get something like netherrack that's easily to break whenever you're flying do region bucket down in the chat so you get a region bucket and all you gotta do now is go ahead and place the netherrack right there put a region bucket on each side of it break the netherrack and place a region bucket there as well now you're gonna have to do this throughout all of these right here it should be pretty simple so without further ado let's go ahead and dig right into it and get this done all right guys i'm pretty much done right now but i do miss to go ahead and put a region bucket in the middle right here now i can't really tell you how important this is so please make sure you do this on every single one of them or else it's, it's not gonna go well all right it's, it's not gonna go well all right guys now that we are done with that we actually didn't gen in the pillar right here as you can see it gen one block that's not enough let's go ahead and take the obsidian gen bucket right here and just start genning everything down right here so this right here is region pillars so as you can see we are actually not making a complete wall so you could bypass this first region right here but since we have four of them they wouldn't be able to so let's just go ahead and gen this down and then we are pretty much done with showing how we can do these so i'm gonna go ahead and do the remaining three of these off camera all right guys there we are everything the region is now done and the only thing that's remaining is this cover right here obviously we gotta do this right here so i and f down in the chat get the ladder bucket and go ahead and get this ladder curtain up asap all right once that is done again stop one block before Mate. we need to go ahead and gen in the base and obviously these walls right here but i'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do that so now that we got the basic of it done as you can see right here we got the four filters right here which is absolutely amazing the best defense for you guys as the beginners and then we have these weird ones right there we have this anti-255 and obviously we have this right here let's go ahead and get this water that built the cannon that is also found down in the description all right extra you built the cannon but how do i water it all you need is one single bucket right there and that should water everything all right so let's go ahead and line this up right here let me go ahead and get some netherrack so you're gonna go ahead and go from this stair and all the way up on how, how high you want it so my shot i want to go let's go ahead and go all the way up so we're gonna go all the way up to scale of it where you can't build anymore and then we got the y of it so the shot is basically gonna do this right it's gonna go to this stair it's gonna go all the way up as far as it can and it's gonna go all the way over here which has no block yet so it's gonna go on past the world border and bye bye so we're gonna need to go ahead and place a block around there to stop that velocity so one block right there so again it's gonna go up it's gonna go all the way to the block and then it's gonna go all the way over to the wall which is exactly where we need it click on the cannon right now and just fire and see what happens now this right here is actually a three second clock so you can just go ahead and hold the button but obviously we're not gonna do that so let's go ahead and fire this right here and see if the one bucket works and everything works as it should so let's go ahead and see it should go all the way over to the wall and here we go and boom as you can see it looks beautiful it even region busted so it actually comes with a region bust in the schematic so you don't need to change anything to make it region bust but as you can see it worked great it actually region busted and got rid of a little bit of the lava let's go to shoot one more time with this bad boy and see if we can get through the first region right here which is obviously a pretty easy one but obviously if the player doesn't have a region bust cannon this is pretty much what that one is for i mean it is that's what it is all right, so I'm pretty sure we're through. Yep, we're through this one right now. Now, down in the description, you can find this right here, which basically is a cactus pillar. So let's go ahead and go into printer mode and start printing. So obviously, this right here is like that. Boom. And then you can just start printing all the way up. And the reason I made this right here was just like this obsidian thingy right here. So you can move it. So if you go ahead and move it right now, and let's see, it has to be moved right there. Then you kind of make like a floor right here, which is going to help you out quite a lot. But all right, let's go ahead and check 
check how to print the works on here well as you can see it works absolutely perfect there's no problems whatsoever so get online make the cactus farms make your base layouts and great people with the cannon down in the description and that brings us to the end of oh well thank you very much and that brings us to the end of the oh well thank you very much and that brings us to the end of this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you smash that like button comment down below subscribe to my channel leave a comment down below if you found this video entertaining and if you found it helpful in any way leave a goddamn comment have an absolutely fantastic day and i'll see you guys next video